hello and in this video we're going to take a look on an example of problems of exponential population growth and what do we have? We have population of bacteria is measured to be 1000 after 10 minutes and 25 minutes after it appeared it, it was measured to be 10,000 and we have first of all we have to start with the basic formula for the population growth which is Population equals initial population, P0, times rate, raised with time. And we know that in after 10 minutes, which is T, our population was 1000. How we can write it? We have population of 1000 equals initial population rate to the 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And also we know that after 25 minutes the population was 10,000. 10,000 equals initial population rate to the 25th. Now what we have actually, we have two equations, two unknowns. How to solve this? Just using like exponential, any system of exponential function, functions, uh, equations. <coughs> and what we're going to do, we're going to divide them. And actually it will be easy if we divide bigger one by smaller one, 1000 equals p naught r to the 10 and if we divide these two equations what do we have? we have 10 divided by 1000 we have just 10,000 divided by 1000 just 10 p naught actually cancels and we have uh, r to the 25th power over r to the 10th power and when we have division of with the same base our exponent is subtracting and we have r raised to the 25 minus 10 or let's rewrite it like r to the 15th power now to solve for r we have to cancel the 15 that way we are raise, raising it to 1 15th power and then also 1 to 1 15th and what we have? we have r actually equals 10 raised to the 115th and we can approximate actually this value for our problem for the model and 10 raised to the 1 over 15 we have r equals actually 1.1659 and some more numbers for now we will use for decimal places. Now we know R, what is our initial population. We just plug in to one of the equations and uh, we have like let's take this one. The 1000 equals initial population times R we know already 1.1659 raised to the 10th power and what is our initial population? We're just dividing by this number 1.1659 to the 10 1.1659 raised to the 10 and this one cancels now initial population equals let's calculate boom boom is actually approximately let me write this p initial it actually will be approximately equals to 215 in some decimal places, but we're talking about bacteria, that's why we're taking only integer. Okay, this is our initial population, which we asked to find, and this is growth factor. And it means now we can rewrite our model, mathematical model of the population of bacteria, which is P equals initial population, which is 215 times R, which is 1.1659 raised to the t. Now with this model, we can predict any. Uh, we can predict amount of population, and predict number of number of numbers of bacteria at any time. First question was how to find doubling time for the population of bacteria, and what we do we just double our initial population which is 430 goes to 15 times 1.1659 1 
rest of the t. Now what do we have to do? We have to divide by 215 both sides. As you can see, 215 cancels. And 430 divided by 215 is just 2. And we have 2 equals. And actually, in future, you don't have even you don't have to use even initial population number because if population will be of polyterra will be one, when it will be two, we have to find this time. That's why we don't have to use any numbers for population. As long as we're given the growing factor. Okay, and now we're taking natural log of both sides. And remember T goes up front. We can rewrite this ln2 equals T times natural log 1.1. 6.5.9 to find t we dividing by natural log 1.6 both sides 1.6.5.9 and our t equals to this number which is approximately actually equals to 4.5 minutes remember this is our doubling time. Now, next question, again, by using our model, ask when the population of a bacteria will be 1 million. To predict this, again, we just plug in our model, 1 million, when it's going to happen, when we have 215 initial times 1.1659 times t. Now, when we we have only one unknown. Fine, let's find t. First of all, we divide it by 215 both sides. And 215 cancels. And we have 1 million divided by 215. And it's approximately 4, 4,651.163. And now to solve it again, take natural log of both sides. And t goes up front again. We have ln. Let's work this. T ln 1.1659. Um, I hope you can understand what I'm writing. Now to find t, we should divide both sides by ln.1659 natural log 1.1659 and what is our t? and our t actually equals to this number let's use the calculator to find this and so divide by natural log of 1.1659 and it's equals to approximately t equals well, approximation because this is not exact will be very long decimal place will be a number of the long list of decimal places and it's 55 minutes okay that's it